Rosaria. It's time, ladies and gentlemen. We're going over the in-game assets as well as the gameplay demo that was released just the other day for Rosaria. I know we're a little bit late, had a little bit of neck pain, but we're doing it better now uh, for right now. So here we go. Let's get in here. We're going to be going over her skills and abilities as well, what they mean with the animations. Very strong stuff with Rosaria, and it's going to be a good time to throw any benevolence. We've gone over all of her stuff before, but now we have the animations down and ready to go here, and I have them all. A little bit recorded them showed them up her auto attack here this is the big thing we all want to know about scroll on down here to the talents this is her normal attack the spear of the church and as you can see here five hits but two of those hits are a double attack the third one as well as the fifth one is a double attack how long does it take her to get through here based on this right here i was able to time it out it is just around two and a half seconds through the full thing no animation cancels yet so It'd be a little bit lower with animation cancels it'd be even lower than that if you go ahead and you animation cancel out of that final hit into a charge attack as well you know how much animation cancels really can make a break or character in genshin impact and this is huge for her because her skill mods on this normal attack here is the second highest in the game the only one who has higher ones is actually our boy zhao and this is huge for her too because a lot of her damage is gonna be coming from her normal attack here because she has the ability to wear that crescent pike and she is a cryo character and she's gonna do amazing amazing stuff in a superconduct style team because the multipliers on her other stuff the cryo ones we'll get to them they're okay right but not as strong as just the sheer amount of damage you can get out on a crescent pike rosaria now that we have this back there we've been doing the math behind the scenes and it's very very strong especially if you consider her a four-star character she can be in there just like razor think razor right but with a crescent pike to really add up that extra damage remember seven hits in around two and a half seconds that's going to give you a half of r5 crescent pike 40 percent extra mod times seven that's a lot of extra damage there so huge 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 for rosaria fans out there you're going to want to get her constellation one but we'll talk about that especially if you want this to go up it'll be even faster than because she gets 10 percent extra attack speed on her c1 now the talent here right here ravaging confession is going to do cryo damage and it is going to allow you to as you can see teleport behind a target when you use it and it has a six second cooldown this is going to be a very very big thing for dodging enemy skills setting up superconduct and gaining access to the crescent pike elemental particle charge this is going to allow you to have 100 percent uptime on their crescent pike because this is a six second cooldown that generates particles and then every four attacks you do will generate a particle in the crescent pike buff last five seconds so you're gonna have particles here and you're gonna attack them a little bit generate another particle that's gonna refresh the duration of the crescent pike buff and then when it runs out again you're gonna have another particle generated from her e or from an additional four auto attacks huge 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 deal there uh also as she is your main damage dealer here it is gonna help you dodge some damage especially or get in range or traverse around the battlefield and it does do a decent amount of damage but you're not gonna really want to build around it it is a two hit skill it's like a, at level 10 it's like a 350 percent multiplier there but it's very very nice and it does look sick i don't know why they have dragon's bane on here considering that's for pyro and water in, uh inflicted enemies and she's a crowd character they don't take too much out of that we're gonna be looking for crescent plate and yeah i know you boys out there want is is the dragon spine spear good it's okay it's not nearly as good as the crescent pike but that's going to be a math video when we can finally finalize all of this stuff for you here now her elemental burst here the rise of termination is going to do a couple of things here you can see it's going to do impact damage and it's going to plant that spear down and it's going to pulse or some damage the pulse damage is not that much guys it's pretty good but it's not as much as the crescent pike itself you're going to see the multiplier and be like wow it's got a 250 percent multiplier that is literally going to be like two hits of her auto attack there that's going to pulse off there and it's not going to have the ability to be super conducted uh it might hit too many times for you to classically melt this off or maybe the pyro character is going to melt it off of you and you could use that there as well you want to really get a triple element team in there but i'm really saying guys super conduct is what you want to be doing here and you can see the field aoe it's pretty big but it's not like super huge it's like a little bit smaller uh than maybe like uh maybe like a, an albedo alt uh, maybe a little bit larger than like the zongli pillar uh, pulse system there so pretty good but you're going to mainly use this to proc elemental reactions not really in here to do major damage with her elemental burst now we did talk about her elemental uh normal attack here being really really that good just the synergy between the elemental skill and the normal attack why is this her constellation one is so good because constellation one when you deal a crit hit 
Her attack speed is increased by 10%. Your normal attack damage is increased by 10% for four seconds. So she's cryo character. Maybe put her on a cryo team. Maybe get the double cryo. Maybe use her with another character. Probably not really needed though, because that's not the only thing that she does do. She's got this other thing. Okay, when you hit someone with Ravaging Confession from behind, it's gonna give you extra crit rate for 12 seconds. This is an Ascension. 12% free crit rate. So you're already building her for like 50, 60% crit rate as you do with every character in Genshin. This pops it up to 12% additional, 72% crit rate. And when you get one crit, you're gonna get 10% increased attack speed and 10% normal attack damage for four seconds. That's the Constellation. The attack speed one though, that is huge because it's gonna allow you to just do that much more damage. Crescent Pike Proxen. This character is one of the characters, if not the best character to abuse Crescent Pike with in the game. And Crescent Pike is one of the most please abuse me weapons in the game. So we've been talking about it so much. So work on your Crescent Pike. It's a very, very, very strong, good base attack, has physical damage increase as well in the proc on it, which she's going to abuse based on just everything we talked about is also incredibly, incredibly powerful for Rosalia. You guys know what happens when they release these things where they show off the characters and they show off the trailer we're about to watch. You know, she's coming out very, very soon with the venti banners ending. You know, I'm gonna drop this right after that. So it's gonna be good times out there for Cros uh, Rosaria mains. I almost called her Crozaria main. Now, the Thorny Benevolence, the Rosaria is here. Element Cryo, very nice stuff here. And she's gonna be doing some awesome stuff as we talk about her no overtime. That's her one rule. Please no overtime. I'm never doing overtime. You see her in the back, right? Chilling. She's always just chilling in the back at the bar. She's a non part of the cathedral ward. Doesn't care. She's in the back chilling. She's got a little Nintendo out. She's good to go. Now she's also in here fighting. And you're gonna see just how cool and, and, and fluent she looks in combat here. They got this nice camera work going for us as well. And based on this, we saw this originally, she looked to be even slower than what we thought that she was gonna be. We always talked about how she's got really high mods. They're probably gonna balance it out by her being pretty slow, almost Claymore style, worst case possible. That's not the case at all. She's gonna be pretty darn good. And yeah, she's a little bit slower for a polearm style character, but she's a lot faster than why I thought she was gonna be. I thought they're gonna balance her speed around Constellation 1. And if you have Constellation 1, you could argue that that's what they're going to do, but she makes her just as fast as pretty much a lot of the other polearm characters out there. 10% speed is nothing to sneeze at, and you're gonna be abusing the Crescent Pike procs, you'll be abusing her high multipliers, you're gonna be abusing the fact that she can proc superconduct, and she's gonna be a pretty good monster there. Now, we're not even done talking about the rest of her constellations. C1 is by far her best one. You get all the way up to C6, you're gonna get that additional physical resistance down by 20% when you use Rise of Termination. Okay, so this one, or Rites of Termination. This one is gonna go ahead and give you 20% extra physical resist down. However, with Superconduct, you already have dropped the enemy's resistances into the negative. So it's really gonna be like an additional 10% resist down because that's how that mechanic works in Genshin. You get the full amount if they're positive. If you are dropping them into the negatives though, you get half the amount there. So if you have you know 60% physical resist and your enemy has 10% physical resist, well, the first 10% of your 60 drops it to zero. You have 50% remaining and it takes them to negative 25 resist there. So if you had just superconduct alone, that 10% resist, the first 10 takes them to zero, then you have 30 left over, get them to negative 15. So 10% extra resist down there in a superconduct build against your average enemy. Very good constellation, but nowhere near as strong as her C1, which is a good thing for you guys out there. C1 is gonna make her a lot better, but you can still use it without it. So Rosaria, Thorny Benevolence. Let me know what you guys think about her down below. She's doing some awesome stuff in Genshin. She's gonna be a fantastic four-star character. Let me know if you're gonna be pulling for a four-star character and trying to dodge Child. That's the banner she's gonna be on. If you are, tell me why down below. If you wanna see more Genshin Impact stuff, you know what to do. I'm gonna go put a hot pack on this shoulder or something because we were working out a little bit too much. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.